Okay, so air sealing is a huge deal with passive house. So a standard house that's built to code will have an ACH, air changes per hour of six, around six to seven. With a passive house, we need to achieve a 0.6 or better air changes per hour. And that's a measure of how tightly the building's been constructed. And the test is a blower door test where they put in a fan, evacuate the air out of the constructed building down to 50 pascals and then measure the CFM air leakage to calculate the air changes per hour. So this house that we built, our preliminary blower door test achieved a 0.51, which we're very excited about. But to achieve that, we had to be uh, attuned to the uh, minute details of paying attention to the air barrier, to the ceiling, to the window installation, and attend to many, many details to make sure that we could achieve that, that air tightness for this project. So our primary air barrier for the Pitney project is Henry's Blue Skin, which is our weather barrier and air barrier uh, applied to the exterior of the sheeting of the house. We are really excited about this product. We've had some phenomenal success. One of the benefits of the Henry's Blue Skin is that it has a sticky back, so a clear uh, plastic film that we remove, apply it to the sheeting, pressurize it. Let me give you a little demonstration of one of the reasons that we're pretty excited about the blue skin and how it performs. All right, so a cup of water, and then we apply the blue skin to the cup of water. Sorry, oh, don't stick it to itself. And as you can see, we get a seal that is watertight for the blue skin. The really exciting thing about the blue skin is that it is self-sealing. So in other words, every fastener that we put in through the blue skin, when we're putting up siding, when we're putting up our rain screen, it is self-sealing. And so as you can see, there's no water leaking. So every time we run a screw, a nail, a fastener through that blue skin, we maintain that air tightness and more importantly, that weather barrier to keep rain out of our construction. So as you can see, every fastener is self-sealing, but if we pull that fastener out, here comes the water. So that leads us to a very important part of our construction is sometimes during construction, when somebody puts in a screw or a nail, uh, we have what's called a shiner, and those people who know construction know that's when a nail or a screw's missed the stud that we're shooting for. In fact, we have a, an example of a shiner right here. And so what's critical with Passive House, with our blue skin, is it's absolutely essential that our construction workers do not remove the shiner. So if they miss the stud, we ask them to leave it because we don't want a hole that's going to allow air and water into our envelope. So with Passive House construction, we have to be absolute fanatics about every penetration through our envelope. And so here is an example where we have an exterior light on the outside of the house and two wires running out to that light, one to power the light and one to daisy chain over to the next light over. And so where these wires run out through the blue skin, we use a butyl tape product from Henry's company to seal the wire on the outside. At Cellar Ridge, we're a firm believer in the belt and suspenders approach when it comes to air sealing. We wanna be uh, certain that we've sealed every penetration. So on the inside of the envelope, where the hole goes through for the wires to reach the outside, we apply silicone into that hole to create an air seal on the interior to couple with the butyl tape on the outside of the building.